Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is a travesty playing some Pillars of Eternity. So, we just got done out running this strange storm outside, and we find ourselves in this strange place called Salant Liss. Never been in this area. This is all new to me. Don't know what's here. Although, we do have a new companion with us. Let's go ahead and take a look at him now. New character called Hayden. He is a first level metal folk rogue. Also a drifter background. So we now have two rogues in the party and this guy here looks like he's very similar to Travis. He has a might of 13, constitution of 8, and I think that's actually being reduced by something that's going on with him. What was it? Bruised ribs? or Yeah, bruised ribs is actually dropping his constitution by 2. And he's got a dexterity of 16 as well as a perception of 16. He has an intellect of 11 as well as a resolve of 11. He has a stealth and a mechanics of 2 and a survival of 1, which is the same as Travis. He has blinding strike, which he can use once per encounter, and that allows him to blind targets, and he can use that as a full attack. And he also has fighting spirit and sneak attack, just the same as Travis. Alright, let's take a look at some of his stats right here. It looks like he is also dual wielding. He's got a nice accuracy. Got a damage reduction currently of 6. And his fortitude has taken a big hit too. And that's because of his bruised ribs effect that he's got going on. Which drops his fortitude by 20 points. Although he's got a really nice reflex, reflex with a 44. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at his gear. Yep, he is dual wielding two daggers and he has a suit of leather armor. And he's also got a potion of minor regeneration. Let's go ahead and put that in a quick item slot. And he's got a, looks like three sets of lockpicks. Let's go ahead and merge them all together right now. And it looks like he's got a third set of daggers too. Speaking of daggers, yeah, I threw, had to throw a set of, one of my daggers away in the last episode. You know what, let's go ahead and grab this dagger. And let's give it back to Travis, so that way he is now dual wielding again. So, we should be good to go. Alright, let's see. Anything else change? Nope, I think we'll be alright. Okay, so now that we have three party members again, I think we need to go ahead and resort out our formation. Let's go ahead and set up this little triangular formation. Now I think... I'll take care of it. Yeah, I think... Even though you set up your formations like that, you still have to do... a reset like this. Even though you might have a custom formation set up, just go ahead and click this again. That way, it'll reset your formation into your new custom formation. So it should... Yeah, there we go. Now we're back into our custom formation setup. If anybody's got any tips like that, please put it in the comments. That way we can all share any kind of crazy tips that those of us that might not know about all this stuff will finally know. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got going on here. What is this? A lower level of the ruins has been blocked off by fallen rubble. Hmm. Let's take a look at a map. Got a good portion of this place here that we gotta take a look at, it looks like here. What is this? Nothing. Let's How see, can did I you help? guys say anything? This trip could have gone better. Hmm. Hmm? Come on, we're not dying in this place. Yeah, we're not gonna die here. Alright. As you wish. Alright, let's Stay go quiet. stealth mode just to see if there's anything hidden maybe here that we need to look at. Take a quick look around. See if there might be anything up in open here that we can't see yeah so we got Kalisha leading out oh what's going on now? that should be far enough <sighs> but what now we look for another way out storm has to die sometime what happened out there windstorm of a kind they only get in air Glanfath not too many people live through them so it's hard to know what's true. The Glen Fathen word is Beowick. To them it's the God's way of repaying the souls of the land that couldn't find their way out. But they will take a living soul as soon as a dead one. Still got yours? Who attacked us? Glen Fathens.
Those will be the hut dwellers Odemo warned you about. Look to be fangs of Galloway, who are the twitchiest of the lot. They go ruin to ruin looking for fights with colonists. Poor Odemo. I think he half expected this once we lost the main road. The Glen Fathens said we trespassed in the ruins. I don't believe that. Odemo would never allow it. But as much as the fangs are hotheads, Glen Fathens don't attack without being provoked. Either they saw something and got the wrong idea, or... She glances down the passage beyond. Or there's looters in here with us. That's not something we need right now. Let's get going. Hayden takes a step forward, and his knee buckles, and before anyone can catch him, he stumbles to the ground, his cheeks striking the time-worn cobbles. On unsteady legs, he claws his way up the wall and back to his feet, but his stance is shaky, like a sailor walking on land after a time at sea. Could, could we maybe stay here and rest a few hours? I've lost some blood. It seems quiet off to the left. There might be a place to rest there. I hate to say this, but we can't afford to stay put. Those Glonfathens were riled about something. Could be we got company in here. Looters will be armed and ready to kill, and there's probably a lot of them. We can't be caught sleeping in their beds. Please, I just need to lie down for a while. Then we can move as fast as you want. Maybe you didn't hear me. We are gonna die in here if we don't get moving and get this place figured out before the looters come back. We've either got to find the exit or a damn good place to hide. Hmm. Let's see, let's try this benevolent option here. We've got to take the risk and let him rest. We need all three of us at full strength. This will be the end of us. No offense, but there's people out there I'd much rather die for. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. Escape the ruins. Hayden needs rest. There may be a quiet corner of the ruin where we can set up camp. Kalisha, however, thinks we should keep moving. Well, it made it sound like we need to go to the left. Alright, let's go stealth. Quiet. Let's go stealthy here. Let's see what's up this way. Someone else has been here. We should move. Hmm. There's a crate or something right there. And another one. Looks like it just comes to a dead end here, yep. Well, let's look around, let's see what we got. Well, we got some camping supplies, and a mace, and a hammer and chisel. What's this? Hammer and chisel used for chipping away at hard surfaces. Alright, let's grab all that stuff. Okay, it looks like we're maxed out on camping supplies, so... We can't grab any more of that. We gotta remember that... That extra one is there. We'll p probably pick it up later. And what's this? Another torch and a small shield gives us eight deflection. Okay, let's grab all that stuff. Anything else in here? Let's take a quick look around, see if there's anything hidden in here. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Alright, looks like Hayden. Just went to major fatigue too. Minus 10 in all defenses, minus 20 on accuracy, and his maximum endurance is reduced by 25% as well. So, well we know there's an extra set of camping supplies in that crate, so we might as well rest. Matter of fact, let's take a look. Yeah, here's our maximum camping supplies is at 2. At hard difficulty, that's the maximum we can carry at the moment, so we might as well use that now. Let's go for a rest. Let's see what happens here. Hayden stretches as he wakes, gingerly probing the gash across his stomach. The flesh has begun to knit together. Uh, by the gods, that's better. I think I'm ready to find a way out. He sits up quickly and looks around the chamber. She really did leave us. 
She won't get far, unless... He crawls to his knees and begins rummaging through the equipment without mounting desperation. Damn her! She took all our water! Ah. Uh, Alright, let's see, we got some options here. Let's try this benevolent option here, I guess. I hope she made it out of here. She took the water, huh? Damn it. Okay, let's go back to this crate then and get that last camping supply. That should bring us back to two again. Yep, we got everything back. Alright, let's do a quick equipment check. Anything else change? Nope. Alright, let's put some of this extra gear into our stash. Alright, let's keep moving on. So we searched this whole area, so we have no choice but to go this way then. Oh, something else I wouldn't mind. I wonder if there's a way to have the camera lock onto your main character or the character that you have selected. That way you don't have to use, you know, your mouse to move the camera around or anything like that. If anybody knows of a way to do that, please put a comment out or something. Alright, let's go. Be quiet. Let's go back to stealth. Alright, we're in a small room here. Have up here. What the hell's this? What the hell is that? Look at the tiles. Oh, is that Kalisha? Are those symbols? Got a journal entry. We came across a section of tiles marked with particular symbols. There may be a clue about their meaning nearby. Worth a look. Hmm. hmm. Looks like we have some traps here. Poor Kalisha. Oh yeah, that is Kalisha. She got herself killed in these traps, apparently. Well, we can grab all their stuff. Worth a look. Damn. Okay, so... Apparently... We need to find a way across that. There's a door right there. What's over here? There's a body right there. Let's take a look at this. What the hell is that? Anguithan Relief Gem. What is this? This brilliant blue gem has been sculpted to look like an eye. We got a crossbow, some armor, a torch, and a tattered journal. This small folio is torn in several places and blood is soaked into several of the sheets. One latter entry is still legible, however. I can't believe my luck. A few rounds of dice and I've got my hands on a genuine and anguithan artifact. The fellow who had it said it was a pretty nothing, as far as he's concerned. He's not willing to go digging in some ruins. But if he's right about this gem leading to a hidden treasure, then that's worth sneaking past a few painted elves. I'll head to Salant List in the morning. Then it's just a matter of finding this relief he was talking about. Hmm. Okay, let's grab all that. Let's go ahead and take a look at all this gear here. Let's go ahead and stash some of this junk. All right, let's put this stuff in there. All right, let's see. We got some bows. Let's go ahead and give a bow to Hayden. Some of these other weapons we can probably stash as well. Let's give a torch to both characters. Hmm, crossbow or a bow? We'll take a look at those in a minute. Gown's Pledge. Let's go ahead and give that to Travis. And we have some Scale Armor, which is Damage Resistance 7, although it's a recovery speed of 35. Or penalty to recovery speed is 35%, whereas Leather Armor's recovery speed penalty of 30%. You know what? I think I'll... 
I will still go ahead and equip that though. Okay, crossbow. It's got a slow speed and a range of 12, although it's got some nice damage. Hmm. Let's take a look at a bow. It's a fast speed, range of 12. Not too bad damage though. I think we'll stick to the hunting bows for now. Yeah, let's go ahead and stash that. Okay, and we still have this potion too. Let's pass that to Hayden. Okay, I think we'll be all right for now. All right, let's continue on. So it looks like the passage leads off two ways here. We have a small room down here too. Let's take a look at the map. Well, the place isn't too big though. Let's check out this small room down here, I guess. Well, who's this? A Zalrip. He's standing next to a barrel or something, too. Looks like he's neutral. Maybe we can talk to him. A trembling, sickly creature emerges from the dark, clutching a spear. Knobby elbows and thin ribs show through its scaly flesh, but you recognize it as a Zalrip. It watches you cautiously, breathing in ragging sighs. Okay, let's try this benevolent one here. It's okay, I won't hurt you. The Zalrip recoils, fingers still wrapped tightly around its spear. The creature cocks its head and approaches you, a soft clicking sound emanating from the back of its throat. The creature sniffs around you and finds nothing of interest. It steps back and resumes its defensive posture. Hmm. Raise your arms and stand still. The creature cocks its head and approaches you, a soft clicking sound emanating from the back of its throat. Okay. Uh, let's try slowly backing away. What happens then? The Zaurip watches you warily as you go. Okay. Let's see what's in the barrel. We got a bow and some lockpicks. Let's grab them. Hmm. I wonder if there's something up with this thing. Oh! Okay! I guess if you get too close to it, it attacks. Alright, it's going for Travis, so... Let's go for a crippling strike. And then we're gonna go ahead and flank it. Yes. And let's go for a blinding strike. Hmm, we took a little bit of damage there. But we got him. What we have here is Zalrip Spear. And a medium shield. Let's grab all that stuff. Let's take a closer look at that spear. It had some kind of plus five accuracy bonus. Hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and equip that. It does more damage. Although it's a little bit slower than a dagger, though. It's got an average speed, whereas a dagger is a fast speed. But it's still got that accuracy bonus, so I'll, we'll take it for now. Okay, let's go ahead and go to stealth mode. Let's search this place and see if there's anything hidden here. Doesn't look like we have anything in here. Okay, we still need to figure this thing out too. There's a door back there. But let's take a quick look. Oh! What the hell is this? A scalder whelp. Oh, a sauce. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's go ahead and do a blinding strike. Travis, let's see, can we get... Hmm? Let's see if we can get a flank on this thing. I wonder if you can flank it just... Can we... well... 
Hmm. I wonder if... I wonder if that thing's gonna get a disengagement attack if I try to move. How can I help? Oh, we got him anyways. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, I didn't know for sure how flanking, if you have to be like exactly opposite your ally or how that exactly works, but we killed him anyways. Of course. So, what do we have here? We have a hatchet. And it's got an interfering property. What does that do? Plus five deflection. Hmm. All right, we'll take all that stuff. Looks like we got some kind of wall here too. Okay, let's go ahead and go back You'll to never stealth. Know I'm here. Let's search this area here a little bit more thoroughly, and then we'll investigate this wall a little better and see what we got going on here. Take a look at the wall. Think we could get through? Hmm. A crack runs along this wall from floor to ceiling. A light gust of air passes through it. Push on the wall. Oh, okay, here we can use that hammer and chisel, maybe. You set to work. The cracks lengthen and widen with your efforts, but the process is more taxing than you'd expected. Sweat beads your forehead and your muscles begin to ache. Continue chiseling. After several long moments, you begin to see light on the other side. With one final tap, several blocks of stone shift, then tumble loose, clearing a gap just wide enough to pass through. Okay. Did we actually lose that? No, we still have it. Okay. Okay, so that goes into another chamber. I could scout ahead, see what's around the corner. Okay, yeah, we should probably Keep go an eye out. Oh, we got a new. Oh, we're fatigued now. Minus ten accuracy, and we lost ten percent bonus on our maximum endurance. Hmm. We should probably be careful here. Oh, there's another. Whelp right there. Ooh, we gotta be careful. There's two of them. Hmm. Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. Yeah, they're starting to see us. Okay, let's what go. Is it? Let's go one at a time here. Damn. I wonder how we can do this. It's just the two of them. How can I help? I wonder if I think what we're gonna do is this. Let's Oh, there's three of them. Shit. Alright, we're gonna have to get risky here. I think what we're gonna do, let's see if we can kinda swarm them maybe. We do have some potions too. Hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and hit that beer. Well, that'll give us a little bit of damage reduction too. Yeah. Let's see if we can. How can I help? Sneak. Let, yeah. Let's see if we can sneak attack this guy right here. Let's go ahead and hit him with blinding strike. We should be able to get sneak attacks as long as it's within the first two seconds of combat. Well. Ooh, he hit us with something. Wow, we tore his ass up. Nice. Okay, now... Damn, was that 35 damage we did to him? Wow. Okay, next... Let's hit this guy. Let's go with a crippling strike on this guy. Oh yeah, he hit us with... Oh, we're stunned. Minus 30 deflection, minus 30 reflex, minus 4 intellect, minus 4 perception, minus 4 dexterity. Damn. Okay, that might have been a... poor decision coming in here. 
All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, we got him. Let's hit this guy with crippling strike. Let's move back here. See if we can get a flank on this guy. Hit him. So much. Okay, got him. We're doing some nice damage though. Although we're starting to take some hits. I'll be quiet. All right, is there anything in here? No, but there's another passage leading out. All right, I'm thinking we should probably go back to that door and investigate that. Cuz we are minor fatigued right now and we are a little bit damaged so we should probably maybe go back here and rest but let's check this door real quick just to see what is through here what is this that roundish symbol Pretty sure I saw it on one of the tiles back there. A symbol of a patterned circle is inscribed on this pillar. An unlit brazier sits at its base. It could be lit if you had the means. Oh, we do have torches. Hmm. Yes. Okay, use a torch to light the brazier. Flames kindle swiftly in the brazier, winding their way upwards. Okay, did something change over here? Okay, one of these symbols is no longer glowing, it looks like. Okay, yeah, some of these are are changing now. Okay. As you wish. Okay, we're probably getting a little careless kind of running up in here. Is this changing over here? Yeah, these are changing. Okay. Let's go to this one. Okay, so there's another tunnel going off that way. this this mural must be ancient yet the colors are still bright and vivid hmm all right let's They'll go still I'm here see if there's anything hidden in here so the passage continues on that way Hmm, what is up with this thing? Why is this? I suspect there might be something hidden there or something. But let's go back out here. There's yeah. something ahead. Now it looks like we can walk across some of these panels here. But this is probably a good spot to do a, a rest. Hmm. Yeah, minus five on all defenses, minus ten on accuracy. And our maximum endurance is pretty poor. Okay, let's go ahead and do a rest here. Okay, and then this is probably a good spot for a quick save.